Welcome to Project 65 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating two-sided form by just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So now let's suppose if I just click on this sign up right here. So here you can see when log users like already have an account. So here you can fill this account right here. And if you click on this login right here, so it'll log users like a not a member, and it will log users this login right here. Okay. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. So for that, we are going to be creating a folder let me give him a name of like 065 come on 065 065 it will be like new form or two-sided form would be fine inside this folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be just like style.css and the third one we will have is like app.js for javascript now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit clear let me just write a doc time html change the title to be like a new form would be fine now let me just link it with my css file and also with my javascript file let me just comment or hide this metadata right click on it and open it with the live server okay so now we are good to go so for html side of code we are going to be just writing a main and inside this main we are going to be writing a div with a class of like sign up inside this sign up we are going to be creating a span not a member and then outside from underneath this pen we're going to be creating a button with the type of button okay so now as a text or you know what first of all let me give you a classes as well like sign up btn okay so now let me just write like a sign up in here and now let me just duplicate this one one time and it will be like a log in okay and now let's just change this level to uh already have uh, already have an account and change this to like nothing let me just remove this class from there and also the label will be like login okay so underneath this div we are going to be creating our forms but before we do that we are going to be creating a layer so now let me just create a black layer inside that we are going to be creating our form inside let's just create our class so it will say like log in form and also the active class so inside there we are going to be creating h2 and now let me just give him a class of like login label okay and now let's just write login and underneath this h2 we are going to be creating an input with the type of email and now let's just write our id of like l email and then now let's just provide our placeholder of email and now let's just create a new input with a class not a class but the type of password the id will be l password Okay, and now let me just write a placeholder, like um, placeholder of password as well. Okay, so underneath that, we are going to be creating a button with the type of button as well. And now let's just provide our login. So once we save it, and let me just zoom out a bit. So this will be our first form. So underneath that, we are going to be creating our another one. So this one will be a login form, and the next one will be um, sign up one. So we are going to be creating a form with the class of sign up form come on sign up form inside then we are going to be writing like sign up and now let's just write our inputs with the type of text first of all the id will be like first name and now let's just write our placeholder of like first name duplicate a few times this one will be now set to like last name and now let me just change this one to it will be also the text change this one to like l name for last name change this one to like s email like no nah, i'll just change this one to like s email and then the time will be also in email and now let's just change the placeholder to just an email okay and also this one to be like password and change this one to s password and now let's just change this one to just a password okay so underneath that we are going to be creating a button with the type of button and now let's just write like sign up okay so once we save on file so this is how it looks like right now so the next thing that you have to do is to just go to our css and now let's just style that a bit i'm going to zoom in and now i'm going to select everything box sizing will be border box and now let's just get our body right away and then provide a margin of zero padding of zero background color will be just set to like uh, one 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 and then nine three three okay so then we are going to be just writing font family of sans serif and then we have to just select all of the anchor tags inside or side 
now let's just remove not a text line text decoration of none and then now let's just get our main which is this main right here okay so we are going to be providing a display of grid on it and now let's just provide a grid grid template columns and it will be now set to like one fr and one fr because we want to just um separate this div and this div okay so that's why we are using like one fr and one fr and now let's just part of align items and it will be now set to like center margin will be like 100 pixel and auto and zero okay and now let's just part of max width to it like 800 pixel okay and now overflow will be hidden seven and this is how it looks like right now now the next thing that you have to do is to select everything which is inside the main so we are going to be just providing a grid row two so once i save it and this is how it looks like it's kind of looking ugly i know so now let's just get um our login form sign up form and also our login form as well so let me just get there first of all log in comma sign up and now let's just provide um display of flex on it justify corner will be center align items will be center and then flex direction will be column okay so now let's provide our gap of 10 pixel and padding will be like 40 pixel to top and bottom and left and right will have zero color will be totally fff like totally white font size will be like 30 pixel okay and then we have to just change the background to cf0 b4c okay so once we save it so it will now gives us this kind of ugly color right here the color is good but here you can see the layout is totally ugly so now let's just change that a bit but before we change it first of all let's just get our button so let me just get this button duplicate it and now let's just change this one to sign up okay and also remove this comma from there and border will be none and now let's just provide a background color of totally white okay so that's that now let's get our login and give a grid grid come on grid column of like one divided by two and now let's just duplicate that a few times and okay, so we have a login then we have a sign up and then just change this one to like two by three okay and then we have a login form and then let me just change this one to like one and two and also a transform of like translate to the x axis and now let me just write like minus 100 percent okay and also let me just duplicate this line of code and then we have a sort of sign up one so change this one to two and change this one to three okay and now let's just change um instead of minus it will be like just 100 percent okay severed and everything is like squanched together in each other <laughs> all right so now let's just get our form and provide a padding and whatnot so let me just get my uh, form provide a 30 pixel of top and bottom and left it, uh, left and right will be have like 20 pixel max width will be just 500 pixel and now let's just provide a height of like 520 pixel and z index will be just 10 okay and now let's just provide a display of flex on it and flex direction will be column and justify corner will be center and finally let's just pour our transition okay so let me just pour our transition like for transform of 0 0.5 seconds save it okay so this is how it currently looks like right now so now let's just write our form and let's just write our active class so it will just show up active class and the rest of them will be like gone so translate x and zero now let's just select or um black layer so now let me just get that and paste it right here let me just write my black layer right here so now let me just write a display of grid on it and then underneath that we are going to be writing a grid column okay and now let's just write like grid template columns and it will be now equals to one fr and one fr then we have a clip path let me just write a clip and then path we have is like inset and now let's just put it zero and then 50 come on 50 percent and zero and zero and the background color will be totally white and now let's just put our z index of five in here and also let's just put a bit of transition to it on a clip path clip and path okay so it will be 0 0.3 seconds so once we save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let's just get this um input box and now let's just start it a bit 
So now the next thing that you have to do is to get or input and just put a display of block on it and also just put a height of 40 pixels and the width will be just 300 pixels pixels and also let me add a margin of like 30 pixels top and bottom and left and right will be zero and i forgot to include a padding length of 15 pixel not 14 but 15 pixels underneath this margin we are going to be providing a border of two pixels solid and then ccc like a gray one and also margin bottom will be just like 20 pixel and margin top let's just add like five pixel and outline will be totally none save it and this is how our button is looking like right here so this is that and then we have our uh, input one right here so now let's just try this login button so i'll just write here uh, i'm gonna write like a log in and then label okay and now it will be text align totally center font size will be 40 pixels save it and this is how it looks like right now so now let's just get our input with the focus set on it so now let me just write input and once it's focus so we want to just put a border color of like this c f0 b4 c kind of crimson color so once we save it and now let me just refresh that and here you can see once our input is active so here you can see it now gives us this border around them okay and label will be just totally on red um will be normal now the next thing which you have to do is to get this button which is right here and now let's just style that so i'm going to just remove that background so i'll just write a transparent and also border will be two pixels solid and now let's just put our color in here like um, like c f0 b 4 c okay and now let's just put our width of 120 pixel and also the height will be 40 pixel and then text transform will be uppercase because we want all of the text to be uppercase and then font weight will be just 600 pixel and font size will be just 16 pixel and cursor will be pointer okay so that's that and also now let's just add a little bit of hovering effect on it so button and once we hover over that button so you want to just change the background color to be that kind of uh, color which is this one and then uh, the text color will be totally white so once we save our file so everything is looking like this so once we hover over it so here you can see this is how it looks like and by the way i forgot you know what i'm gonna call me this font word from there and i guess this looks cool so i guess we are done with the html and also with the css so now let's just jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity so for javascript we would need a few things so i'll just get my login form and also the sign up form as well and also the login button btn and also the sign up btn as well and finally we have this back uh, or back layer okay i give my um i guess i yeah we are good with the back layer not a black layer i guess i pronounce it as a, as a black layer but it's not a black layer it's a back layer anyhow so now let's just get it like const of login form log in form and it will be now equals to document dot query selector of or log in and then form okay so that's that and now let's just write const sign up um form and it will be now equals to document dot query selector of sign up and then form okay so underneath that we are going to be getting like a const log in button and it will be now equals to document dot query selector of let me just get our log in and button okay so now let's just get our sign up so sign up button and it will be now equals to document dot query selector of this sign up and then button okay and finally let's just get our layer so const back layer and it will be now equals to document dot query selector of back dash layer so now let me just console log everything so that we make sure that we select everything so login form duplicate a few times and change this one to like sign up form sign up form and now let's just change this one to login button login button and also this one to like sign up button and this one will be like a back layer button so once we save it and now let's just open our console so we have um 
we have our login form we have our sign up form which we cannot see right now because which is hidden because we don't have that active class on that one the next thing which you have is our login button which is hidden right there and then we have our sign up button which is this one right here and then we have this layer right here so now we are totally good to go let me just remove that and also um let me cut this uh, comments from here and here as well so now let me just attach event listener on the sign up button add event listener and once we click on that button so you want to just call this function which will be or arrow function okay so inside this arrow function so you want to get our login form and you want to just remove the class list of active from it and also we want to get our sign up not button but form and we want to add the class list of let me just write add and we want to report active on there and then finally let's just part our background <laughs> not background but back layer our style dot clip path uh, which is this property let me just show you there for a second clip path property which clip path all right so which is this property right here which we provide for this back layer so now let's just provide them it will be now set to like in set of zero 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 and fifty percent now the next thing which we have to do is that we have to attach even listener or on login form so now let me just write our login button and now let me just add it attach add event listener so once we click on it so then we want to just uh, fire this function right here okay so now you want to get our sign up form and now you want to just um, remove that class list of remove an active one and also we want to get our login form and we want to attach this active one and now back layer dot style come on style dot clip path and will be now equals to nothing save it so if we see and if i click on there something went wrong i don't know what so <laughs> come on man all right <laughs> look at this one it should be a login button okay so once we save it and now if i click on it all right so we are still getting there uh, now let me just check out my code for a second all right so here you can see instead of get element and whatnot let's just pour our style in here and once we save it and if i just click on the sign up so here you can see it will now show us this sign up form if i just click on the login so it will now show us this login page right here okay and both of them is now working the way we expect them to work so that was just <laughs> quite stupid mistake i just made right here anyhow so i'm typing a bit fast so that's why i'm getting a lot of like errors that's because of the misspelling things anyway so i guess that was it about for this project and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.